can you trust the battery life figures on the label or our headphone manufacturers full of shit? Can you trust what's on the label of your headphone box about the battery life or our headphone manufacturers pulling a fast one on you? Yeah, I really think the swearing's better. <laughs> uh, we have tested battery life in the same way for over four years now. And in that time, we've tested 415 different products in the same conditions to give you a better picture of how one product stacks up against another. So there's a few things that we can tease out of this data if you are willing to segment it in a few different ways. But the main question here is, is whether or not you can trust the figures on your product specs page or on the box if it's actually giving you an accurate picture of how long the battery life is for your set of headphones or earbuds. Your drum roll, please. Yeah, actually, most estimates are relatively in the ballpark of what they advertise. But that's not the whole story here. There's a lot to unpack, but it may not be obvious right away. First up, wireless earbuds do not last as long as headphones do. I mean, this isn't a shocker. They have much larger batteries, so of course they are going to last a lot longer. The thing is, though, is that sometimes companies will advertise that, oh, these earbuds last 24 hours on a single charge, when they're really just talking about the charging case and not the products themselves. Now that is full strain bullshit. <laughs> So how these companies actually arrive at these estimates can vary a lot depending on the product that you use. For example, sometimes headphone companies will run headphones at 50% battery, but that level can be different from product to product to product, so it's not a real good estimate of what people are going to be doing. Or wireless earbuds, for example, will often try to test this with the A and C off, which gives us figures about 10% lower than what they should be. Finally, sometimes companies will just straight up give you the estimate for the charging case itself, which has a bigger battery than the earbuds. So rather than saying the earbuds can last you six hours on a charge, they'll say, oh, they last for 24 hours. But it's horse shit. So to get to the meat of the issue, let's plot everything on a scatter plot. And uh, unfortunately, just you had to talk about this ahead of time, because it is very, very difficult to find figures for battery life on products that are either discontinued or you don't have the box with you right there when you build your data set. Uh, we had to trim ours down to 281 instead of the 415 that we've tested so that everything on the charts showing the manufacturer's advertised life, that's only 281 data points, whereas everything else is 415. Y-axis is what we test, and X-axis is what we've been given by the manufacturers. The slope of the line should be about one with an intercept of zero to indicate that the relationship is one to one, and there should not be a lot of variation up or down. Now, if you take a look at this chart, you'll see that yes, there is a fair bit of variation. However, the trend line is relatively close to what we expect. The slope is 1.07, which means that actually the battery life figures that we test are generally a little bit better than what is advertised, which is good. But the variability is high and our adjusted R squared value is 8.24, which is on the very low end of what we would be looking for to establish a reasonable level of variation. However, when you're taking a corpus this small over variables that are be this far apart for things, yeah, it probably is asking a bit much this is a fine result. It means that, yeah, they probably aren't just trying to lie through their teeth and say that their headphones will last you weeks when you need to recharge them every half hour. We found that most of the variation is somewhere within 10% of the estimate. So yeah, you can say they're in the right ballpark, even if they aren't exactly right on the money. And there's a few factors that can influence that. For example, having a different listening level. More power equals more power used. Using different features, Again, more power, that kind of thing, you get it. The list goes on, but really, it's a lot of stuff that you probably already have thought of. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, I'll just spend a little extra and get better battery life. Stop. Because just like sound quality, there is no relationship between cost and battery life. Don't believe me? Here's a chart! I plotted our battery life versus cost for wireless earbuds, and 
if I were to do this for wireless headphones, it would look much the same, except the scale would be much, much bigger. But you can see here that there is no positive relationship between cost and price. There isn't a negative relationship. There is no relationship. You cannot look at the price sticker and say, oh, that has better battery life than, you know, these headphones over here. You don't know that. You need somebody to test that. And in order to find that out, you're going to have to go to websites like Sound Guys, for example, you know, just off the top of my head, to find out whether or not the product that you are looking at is, well, it performs what you need it to. Think of it this way though. We're also at a point now where most people listen to music about three hours in a day and we actually have seen some studies about that come out, like about Gen Z, for example. Even the most average wireless earbuds that are on the market will last you 38% longer than this period of time. And that's without any charging, that's without stopping. It's one listening session, it's a worst case scenario. So it's really not that productive to get too worked up about not having a battery life that is over eight hours for earbuds, for example. Remember, as with anything, context is key. So if you'd like to see another exploration of us looking at way too many products to draw conclusions from, click over here where I go over the fact that there is no correlation between sound quality and price. Go. It's more interesting than it sounds. I promise. Do it. Do it. You won't do it. <laughs> you just won't. Reverse psychology. Oh.